All right, this is second grade, module three, lesson three. And in this lesson, we're going to be counting up and down between 90 and 1,000. And the idea is counting up and down is going to give us the practice of pr using ones, tens, and hundreds in a reasonable way. We're going to be talking about landmark numbers or benchmark numbers um, at, as part of this process. So in this Eureka Math lesson, um, students are going to be counting, right? And the idea is they're counting, first they're going to be counting units, then they're going to go count by tens, and then ultimately they're going to count by hundreds. And what's ostensibly happening is students are going to be thinking about those bundles, the popsicle sticks that we've been talking about. For example, counting from 432 to 600. The students might initially think about the fact that they have 432 uh, popsicle sticks. So I'm just going to say, okay, here's the 432 popsicle sticks. And then what are they going to do? Well, we're going to add one more popsicle stick, so now they're at 433. They're going to add another popsicle stick, so now they're at 434. And then another popsicle stick, they're 435. Another popsicle stick, 436, 437, 438, 439, and then they're at 440, all right? And then at that point, now that we're at 440, we can start thinking about bundles of 10, all right? So that would be 450, another bundle of 10, would be 460, another bundle of 10, 470, and then 40, 480, and then another bundle of 10, oh, my bundles are ugly, 490, 490, and then another bundle of 10, so now you're at 500, and so now we can do a bundle of 100, and that bumps us up to 600. So that's ideally how we would count from 432 to 600. Initially, we start with our initial amount, and we're going to count by ones until we get to a nice landmark number or benchmark number. And then once we've reached that benchmark or landmark number, we can then count by tens until we reach another landmark number. And then that allows us to jump up by hundreds. Okay. Now, long term, um, this lesson is not talking about it, but long term, what we're doing is we're teaching students the number line. And the idea is we're starting way down here at 432, and we want to get to 600. So what are we going to do? Well, first we would add 8, and that gets us to 440. And then we would add 60 and that would get us to 500, and then we would add 100, and that would get us to 600. So the idea is um, this technique up here is a physical um, representation of where we're eventually going in a more abstract way, where we're eventually going to be going uh, with the empty number line. The idea would be, well, you start here, you add to get to the next landmark number, you add to get to the next landmark number, and finally you add to get to your total. It's a classic thing that our second graders eventually are going to be getting to. I just wanted to point out the connection between the physical representation of the popsicle sticks and the maybe uh, a next developmental milestone will be the empty number line. So it says fill in the blanks to reach the benchmark numbers. And again, this number line, I mean, this right up here, you could think of that as an empty number line, saying we're going to start at 14 and we're going to go up to 50. And what are we going to do in order to get there? Uh, but filling it in up here the way Eureka Math is expecting, we'd say 15, 16, 17, that's a 7, 18, 19, and sure enough, we've reached 20, and now we're going to switch over to 10s, 30, 40, and sure enough, 50. So what we just did up here is a kind of a simple version of what the empty number line 
down here might look like, where we say, well, first we're going to add 6 to get to 20, and then we're going to add 30 to get to 50. Now, of course, you could use this empty number line and say, well, to go from 14 to 30, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then to go from 20 to 50, it's 30, 40, 50. So you can see that here's our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hops to get to 20, and then here's a hop of 10, a hop of 10, and a hop of 10 to get to 50. So you can see the connection between the blanks up here and the empty number line that eventually our students are going to be getting to. Oh, well, let me just jump straight to C. Um, interestingly enough, I kind of see 65 as a milestone. So you could have gone uh, benchmark number. I could have gone from 65 straight to 70 and then counted up by tens. But then some of your students might have done that. But let's kind of play the game of Eureka Math at this point. So it's 66, 67, 68, 69, and sure enough, there's 70. And now we're going to switch over and count by tens. So it's 80, 90, and 100. So show a way to count from 668 to 900 using ones, tens, and hundreds. All right, so we're going to start with 668. And let's start by counting by ones. So the next one would be 669. And the next one would be 670. There's our benchmark. And I'm going to kind of put a box around it. And now we can count by tens. So now we've got 680, 690. Now we're at 700. Hey, there's another benchmark. And now that, now that we've, we're at the hundreds, we can count up by hundreds. So 800, 900, and there's our goal. So we started out here, and we ended up here. And the last one, Sally bundled her sticks in hundreds, tens, and ones. All right, how many sticks does she have? So we could say, well, there's two hundreds. And then there's, let's see, how many tens? One, two, three tens. So she's got two hundreds. She's got three tens. And then it looks like she's got two ones, if I'm looking at them correctly. So two units or ones. So how much does she have altogether? She has 232. Now it says draw three more hundreds and three more tens. So I'm going to draw some hundreds. One, two, three more hundreds. And then, uh, let's see, three more tens. Now how many sticks does she have? So how many hundreds does she have all together? Well, let's start with, she's got two up here plus three down here, so she has five hundreds. And then how many tens? Well, she's got the three up here, right? Plus she's got three more down here, so that's six tens. And she still has the two ones, or units. So how much does she have all together? She has 562. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 3, Lesson 3, where we're counting up and down from 90 to 1,000 using that place value, the concept of place value, ones, tens, and hundreds.